Hi, welcome to the channel and our first Swim Junkie Swim Better video. Here in the Philippines, we're locked down again and very few of us have access to pools or the open water. Which brings us to today's topic, which is how to fix your swim pool when you can't get to the water. In this video, we'll be focusing on two swimmers who are working on problems in their pool technique like this dropped wrist and this dropped elbow. Our second swimmer needs to fix his hunched shoulders and the way he tucks in his chin while he's pulling. We were also working on coordination and balance, particularly how he's pulling through while his body is over rotated. So if we're all stuck at home, how do we work on our swim form? So what we asked our swimmers to do is to practice their pull in front of a mirror. And this works because of a sense that we call proprioception. Also known as kinesthesia. And this is a sense of knowing where your body parts are and what they're doing and what action they're taking. So anytime we need to learn a new movement or pick up a new physical skill, that's proprioception at work. And you see this in action when dancers are learning new steps or they're trying to sharpen up their form or technique. They rely on the mirror as a form of feedback. To recap, our goal is to change this dropped elbow pull habit to this. This is a screenshot of one of Katie Ledecky's swims. And you can see how she hinges at the elbow to start her pull. We also want to change this habit of pulling diagonally underneath the body to this. This is another still from one of Katie Ledecky's swims and you can see that her pull doesn't cross her center line. How to do it. Find a mirror and stand with your legs shoulder width apart. Hinge forward at the waist and hold one arm out against something to hold you steady. Practice your pull entry, your catch, your pull through and finish over and over again, checking the mirror to make sure you're holding good form. Word of warning, doing any motion over and over again with the wrong form can slow down your progress or worse, lead to injuries. Up next, the pointers we gave the swimmers on how to do this properly. Here we have swimmer P doing his dry land drill. When he swims, he tends to hunch up his shoulders and he tucks in his chin and drops his neck lower than the top of his spine. So it's not shocking that you see him doing the same thing on dry land. His shoulder is hunched up and his head is sitting lower than his shoulder. So the first correction is to hinge at the waist and streamline or straighten your upper body. If you're having trouble doing the drill while standing, try lying at the edge of a bench or a table so that it's easier to keep your body flat. The second correction is that P is holding his lead arm too low. You need to hold the arm closer to the imaginary surface of the water. And the third correction is to finish your stroke. Don't stop the pull at the top of your thigh. This is swimmer J, and one of the things we're trying to correct is how she drops her wrist at the start of a pull. As we said, your bad habits in the water will sometimes show up in your drills. So J's first correction is to make sure that her lead arm is lying flat and avoid dropping your wrist. The second correction is that she needs to start pulling earlier. We are aiming for an early catch and hinging the elbow while your arm's still pretty close to the surface of the water. Starting your pull from here is already too late. And the third correction, just like some P, is to finish your stroke. Make sure that you do this entire drill with a proper form. 
with a mirror in front or beside you. And as the drill gets easier and you can repeat the motions without any errors, you can try doing the same drill with bands. And that's another video altogether. If you like this video, please click subscribe and follow us on our other platforms if you want more information just like this. Stay safe. Bye.